Hey folks, welcome to Fiddle Practice Fridays. Um, I don't know about you, but I know that I've been having a little bit of trouble finding my focus um, and on anything um, in these months that we've been in the shelter in place. And so I thought, well, maybe it would be fun to have a place to check in once a week um, and get some suggestions on what to focus on in your practice. And this week, we're kind of going back to basics is I know for myself, particularly on instruments that I'm new at, I've been working on uh, learning to play cornet, and whenever I don't practice for a while, when I try to go get myself to practice, the main thing I'm thinking about is, I didn't practice, I meant to practice yesterday, I didn't do that, and then I don't practice today. And then about a week from now, I mean to practice, and I go, oh, I meant to practice all last week, and now instead of remembering that I play this instrument because I think it's fun, I enjoy playing it, I enjoy practicing it, I enjoy learning about it, um, now all I associate it with is feeling guilty that I didn't do it. And I don't think any of us need more of that in our lives right now. So what I want to do is kind of hit the reset button, if you've been feeling some of that too in your fiddle life is I have three suggestions for what to do uh, to change maybe how you feel about bringing out the fiddle. So thing one is today, just take it out of the box and play your favorite tune. Play the thing that makes you the happiest. And remember that, reconnect with the fun part of playing the instrument. There's a lot of frustration with playing the instrument. I know this very well, but we didn't get into it for that reason. We got into it because it makes us happy. So play some of those tunes that really make you happy and, and have that experience. Uh, thing two, go and put on some recordings of the fiddle players that inspired you to become one yourself, is remember what that music is and all of the joy that that um, brings into your life, and just let that kind of run around the house. Uh, listen to something different <laughs> other than the thoughts running through your head every day, am I right? Um, and thing number three is instead of setting goals like, oh, I need to learn this new tune, or I need to get better at such and such. This week, set yourself a goal of how many times are you gonna take the fiddle out of the box? That's it, is can you reconnect with the instrument twice this week? Every other day this week? Maybe every day? No rules about how long or what you do. Just that you're gonna take the fiddle out and play it. Because what we wanna do is reset that association instead of feeling guilty that you haven't been playing it. Switch back into, oh yeah, I play this instrument because it's fun. And there will be challenges and there will be frustrating days, but at the core of it, I do this because it's fun. So play something today that makes you happy, put on some recordings that remind you what, what inspired you to become a fiddle player, and set goals that are just about having fun and reconnecting with the instrument. In the coming weeks, we'll look at bowing and music theory and ornamentation and all sorts of little bite-sized things, just places to put your focus. You have one week of, of focused practice, but this week, just rediscover why you are a fiddle player. And if you wanna talk about your experience with that um, or post questions or things that you'd like to see covered in other Fiddle Practice Fridays, you can check that out in the comments below. I would love to hear from you guys. And maybe we can all kind of talk to one another about our experience in practice this week. I'm gonna set myself a goal of, I'm gonna try and bring out the cornet, play it three times this week and remember some of what I used to know before I took a break. So let's see what that's like all together, and I'll see you guys next time on Fiddle Practice Fridays. Bye.